Zeofate plays Stardew Valley. And welcome everybody to another episode of Stardew Valley. We are on day 27 of our playthrough. And uh, we have a little bit of rearr rearranging to do. I just swore there's a way to rotate these. There we are. Uh, put that there. Nope, that's wrong. And that's why it's wrong. There we go. that done. Uh, potted plant we can shift around. I can't really shift the kegs until they're done. But uh, yeah, I, I need to move the teeth. So, yeah, this auto grabber is something that is going to save me a load of time. So $25,000 for that is definitely something worth it. What that'll do is all of these eggs, everything that these animals produce, I won't have to turn around and go around manually collecting them. So I just have to go around, greet the animals, and that. That'd be it. Ooh, Viridium's tier. And we got the one for the duck. Okay, good. This one just the baby. Got our pig. So there we go, that's that done. So the only crop I really need to grow come spring is going to be the red cabbage. Once the red cabbage is grown, that's it. I should have pretty much everything I need to complete all the different uh, different bundles. Of course, I'm waiting for some of this stuff to finish growing, but that is something that is happening. I 
I need to start upgrading the number of casks I have. Or kegs, actually. Okay, so all that's done. Let's actually start looking into what we need to do to do that. <clears throat> so for a keg, which is one of the things I really need a lot of, I need copper bar, iron bar, wood, and oak resin. So let's go see how much of all of that I actually have. I have three oak resin, so that's going to be what's going to primarily be my limiting factor here. So now let's take a look at preserving jar. Preserving jar is going to take me stone, wood, and coal. And I need eight coal for that. How much coal do I actually have? I have two. So I need to start getting a lot more coal going. So let's get these casks in. Them producing. I think what I'll do is I'll move this cask to here, fill up this line, fill up the entirety of this to about here. And then fill up down here, which means I should probably turn around and just move that plant again. Chuck it there. Preserving jars, I can basically do the same thing over here, get a major production run going. So that's all going to help me increase my finances. is a little too late for me to bother going really trying to go fishing. How many of you do I have? I have seven of ten, so I can pull out six. As you got one in there they will keep re rebreeding uh you are i am waiting for your next quest so we will not be doing anything to you so we'll sell you now i got five thousand and i do have enough stone so i'm actually going to get another pond going Basically, I'm going to continuously cycle to get uh, ponds going, especially now. 
because they are going to be significantly more useful in order to get funds. missed my window to do so. Because I think she closes at 4. Oh, no! Nice! Uh, construct a farm building! Yes. So I'm going to start getting fish ponds out here. Now it will eventually turn around and I will eventually reorganize everything, which is something I kind of actually have been needing to do, but been delaying and delaying and delaying. So since I got uh, a couple of hours, I'm just going to use a bit of energy here. Then we will head back to farm and call this day a close. And when I go and plant the red cabbage, I'm going to just chuck a single sprinkler outside, single scarecrow. Uh, I might do more. I mean, I've got all the rare crows, so... I'm going to have the money, all the money from the fish. Got more than enough gold, so I can make quite a few sprinklers. fish. Yeah, okay, that was a sturgeon. That perfectly understandable why that was such a pain in the ass to catch. Hmm, I'm a bit parched. Thank you. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. I screwed that one right up at the beginning. I let the button go too early. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's this? Uh, I said bring the luck. Where, where is it? That was... That was quite nice. I'm very happy I went over and got that. Of course I'll have to upgrade and get uh, a couple more soul essence so I can turn around and get a one of the light and magnet rings. that actually going to cost? Let's let's see here. Uh, bring you down. No, bring you down. You're right here. So I need five solar essence and five iron bars. I think the solar essence is where I'm shy. I'll have to double check.
but uh, we'll definitely have to figure that out. I mean, realistically speaking, I could, in very, very realistically, just wake up, do my maintenance on my farm, and go to bed. And I'll, I'll make a decent amount of money at that, and eventually finish off the bundles. But I don't like doing that. I mean, time-wise, yeah, it's a little bit more efficient, but it's not going to level up my skills. It's not going to help me find artifacts. It's not going to really help me do anything, so it's like, might as well try to use the time. Depending on how long everything takes is going to depend entirely on... That is really useful, too. Uh, depending on how long everything takes going to take me in the morning is going to be what determines what I do throughout the rest of the day. Fishing, gathering, whatever. Now, gathering and foraging, I can kind of level during winter through the artifact spots, but not very well and reliably. Mining, you can do every couple of days just via the quarry. And so, really, I gotta wait till summer, because that's when all the trees are gonna start growing again, so I can start dropping down, get more wood and everything else I need. Fish, settle the hell down. <clears throat> so by finding the more expensive fish that you want to, uh, farm in those ponds. You can just let them sit there and grow and we're no point in continuing on. So we're gonna go to the bus stop. Ooh, hello. More stuff to collect. And I do apologize for how dark it is, but uh, yeah, that whole light ring. Now, I don't recall if I have that artifact in there. I'm pretty damn sure I have the chicken artifact in there. I have two solar essence and I need five, so I need to go and get three more solar essence. And let's finish. Clearing up our inventory here. Place that there, thank you. And you can get placed there. Nope, meant to sell that. Part of me wants one of the mini bins in my house, the other part wants it in the great in the uh, greenhouse. There's an $11,000 day. Most of that is was from the mail. That's why the, the chickens are so good.
you guys are still percolating along quite contentedly. Periwinkles, I'm always going to turn into sashimi. The uh, snails, I will not. So I think today I'm actually going to go clearing out the quarry. I should probably look up and just make sure when I should be selling the eggs versus just keeping them. Uh, uh, or turning them into mail. You're still too young. You're still too young for anything. And I milked you yesterday, so you're not going to have milk. So as I say that, as I do it. Enough to make my first ever cup of coffee. You guys are still growing. Oh, hello. You're sitting back, okay. Okay, you are done, and I actually just got a bunch of hops, so let's get you going. And I think I'm actually going to turn around and make my first cup of coffee. It takes five beans to make a single cup of coffee. How long it takes, but I know it takes uh, five beans. So let's get uh, you in there. I'll let those build up for a little while before I turn it on sashimi. So I think I'm actually going to go into the mine. Let's try pushing just that little bit deeper. I heard you, Bat.
Void Essence, which is not the one I need. Probably in my next mining run, I'm gonna have to focus on where the ghosts are gonna show up so I can get the remainder of the solar essence I need. I actually have two secret notes that I should actually probably read. Something hidden behind the community center. Okay. Uh, older bachelors in town, no one more perfect. Harvey's really anxious week, and I'm a loyal and devoted husband, and his coffee and pickles. Yeah, it's some of these diary page, so. I'm gonna have to go and check out what it means by what's something hidden behind the community center. Because now my curiosity is up. So when we get to the next floor, we'll abandon. We'll go investigate the community center. some. But uh, I'm not getting a lot. essence and a copper bar. And it doesn't look like there's anything kicking around here. It's about five o'clock and my HP is not where I want it to be. So let's go check out what they were talking about for that community center. seed. I've already turned around and gotten that recipe, haven't I? Yes, I have. So that's another ancient seed that I'm going to be able to turn around and plant and make buku box from.
Hmm. There's supposed to be something back here. You know what? Let's quickly look that up. Uh, main page. This is secret note. You are secret note which number? Twenty-one. We've done eleven. I'll have to look at and see what we need to do. Fourteen. So eleven. Okay, nothing. Uh, behind the community center, hidden by the roof against the wooden fence to the right, is a stone Junmo statue. Here we go. Yeah, I never realized I could actually get back there. Put that right beside our owl statue. shouldn't actually be in here. Actually, a bunch of this sh stuff shouldn't actually be in here. This is all supposed to be mining stuff. Don't recall there actually being a use for white algae, so we'll get rid of that. results and results in general out of here because this is all stuff that I'm thinking of just straight out selling yeah see right there I know I went from two solar essence to four because I wasn't getting things organized properly okay so let's see here I got a couple hours so I need I can make 11 of the proper sprinklers. So I wonder if this will Let's start here. One, two, three, two, three. I'm just kind of curious about, because uh, I haven't really actually paid too much attention, so I have no idea if I plow these now, how many of them will stay plowed come the new season. So I figured I'd uh, experiment a bit.
And I've got three more sprinklers that I can chuck in here. Uh, it's really dark in here. Uh, I need be over one. You can go there. You can go there. You can go there. Right, I already plowed everything, so that should just automatically water in the morning. So let's uh, go to bed for the day. Tomorrow is going to be a brand new season and the start of year two. Sunny day tomorrow. Uh, oh, I'm glad I turned around and actually checked that one so I could get that recipe. Tomorrow's going to be rain. Uh, okay, yeah, you're just re-reminding me there's new seeds. Yeah, you just got back from... Yeah. I actually need 10k for tomorrow. The answer is not a whole hell of a lot is what's going to survive. That's good to know. Okay, so, let's, of course, do our normal stuff. Uh, prices of raw materials. That is something we already knew was coming. Or at least, I already knew it was coming.
I'm missing two eggs. There's one. We didn't get a duck, so that's that's exact that's correct. Let's go get, uh, I gotta go get my seeds. Get them going. So I don't actually turn around and end up forgetting. Which is something I am have done in the past. How much do snails sell for? Uh, snails... 65. So with my boosts, that is actually worth turning around and just selling. I can cycle for cash crop. I actually do not remember what good cash crop is for spring. I think it's strawberries personally, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, let's see here. You don't have what I need. Potato, tulip, kale. I think garlic is the newest one. So let's actually double check some stuff. Exploits. Uh, it's nothing there that I care about. to have a calculator for crops 
And I'm trying to remember how I got how I got to it initially. There was a calculator. Okay, well, you're not going to do your thing, so let's first of all quickly come in here and check see what crops we need. That's, I guess I need a small wet egg there. Potato, that's garlic. That's kale. So, because one of the things is I need to sell one of each crop. Oh, I just guess I'll just buy one of each. Don't need the the starter. Garlic is going to sell for 60. I need to buy it. For How's stream 40. going? It is going pretty good here, Demon. How's everything going with you? Uh, I guess the rest of it is uh, green beans. Hmm. Jazz seeds. Matt tired as fuck and still stressed as fuck, Rusip. Yeah. Honestly, I'm quite sorry to hear that. Got off league and just doing a bit of code learning. Nice. I'll well, definitely hope you have fun with the code learning. Uh, you know what? Let's get a bunch of jazz seeds. That should be all I need. That'll get me one of each crop. Actually, I need trees. I forgot I have to so. save all the files in .cpp or whatever for code blocks, so I was freaking out the other night since for some goddamn reason it isn't automated. Yeah. There, there's... There's a lot of different things that aren't automated that should be, and a lot of things that should be automated that aren't. Okay, what were the two? I know apple was one. So the apple and pomegranate, those are the two trees I actually have. So grab a cherry, apricot, orange, and that'll save me the 10 grand I need for tomorrow. There's there's a lot of different things that don't make sense in coding, but for some reason that's just become. I am the, on the try slash paid lesson now. Oh, you're actually paying for professional lessons. Nice. Uh, let's get shit planted. Know the C++ self-taught lessons, Rusip. Ah, yeah. I really gotta get back into coding at some point, but it's just... 
the amount of time it takes, as you well know, coupled with the... I have no real need for anything to be coded at this point. Makes it so that there's just really no point. At least, at least to me, but... I know people, I've known people that they code for fun. Like, I'm talking, you give that, you gave them a project in class for... Oh, I could get rolling in a computer job, start on game development. Just gotta get my ass rolling to do this. Uh, I hate to burst your bubble, but the, the probability Making an of RPG getting... sounds fun to see if I can make something people like. That, that is fun. But the, the chances of you Enjoying getting a job the stream? Remember is... to tap that follow button to know when I go live next. Chances of you getting into game dev are really, really slight unless you're doing it just on your own. Which, don't get me wrong, that's a really fucking fun thing to do. But I just don't want Doing you to get it on my own. On. No way I'm getting into a company otherwise Rusev. Yeah. But then again, hey. Uh, easiest thing to do, start modding. Find a game that you enjoy, start making mods for it. Because, like, if you look at Mojang and other stuff like that, they have... I am well around. aware without even looking that they won't dare look my way without some of my own games under my belt or yeah, like you said, mods. Yeah, because there, there's Go quite check a few... out my YouTube content and see what you have missed. Yeah, there's quite a few different people that have turned around and gone from, yeah, I'm making mods for like Minecraft to they're now working at Mojang. Well, I guess it's Microsoft, really. Get those planted so all that's taken care of. Ah, first day fun. So let's get this stuff watered, because then I shouldn't have to water it ever again. So all that stuff's done. You got you're done, so let's get you populated with something. Uh, let's go midnight squid. Because those things are worth the pretty penny. Oh, yeah, they're all trying to sleep. Right, I already came in here and did this. Forgot to open that. Okay. So I need to make some grass starters and get this area saturated and cleared out. That is pretty much tomorrow's going to be the first of all getting the marriage pendant that we need. 
and clearing out the farm. First, I need you. There we go. Just get rid of the uh, fibrous plants so that I can turn around and ensure that everything's going to grow. And I don't accidentally scythe stuff that I don't want to scythe. That only really needs to be done down here. So let's just Finish clearing up this side, or at least as much as of it we can do before we have to go to bed. Okay, and tomorrow I'm actually going to need to make, do some planting, because I forgot that I need to redesign some of my farm that I took it apart. Grand day, it's not too bad. Hey, Yizzo. Howdy, howdy, how's, how's it, it going? going? It's going pretty good. Uh, beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay. That's done. We have rain, which is exactly what I want because I need to go get the uh, amulet. And I'm saying I fertilize as well as new crop selection. I already know that. Here's cleared up. Oh, there's one thing right there I need to do. Leave that uh, mining field alone for now.
these I'm going to sell, because I think one of these is one of the ones that I actually need. Okay, you finally popped your quest. What do you want? You want just one of those? That shouldn't be too big an issue. Okay, sell you. You can go in there. I should have already ended this episode, but uh, we'll, we'll finish off today. Did you do some changes to the farm? Uh, yeah, I got rid of one of the tree farms that I did have, which I actually need to replant. Thank you for reminding me. Got access to the greenhouse, which we've got populated partially now. I'm going to start uh, building up more and more I'm just I'm going to start populating more and more plants in here. seeds. Only gave me one. Uh, let's get you planted at least. I think I'll just turn and sew all this stuff for now. Because I know I need to sell at least one of those for... Uh, just so that I can say I sold it. Okay, so now I need to go to the beach. Hopefully one of the little puckles are there that I need. We're going to go to the town. Should have brought my artifacts, but I forgot. Now let's see what this is. Uh, tracking work, dangerous prismatic slime. Uh, apparently a lotion made from green beans said to remove wrinkles. Anyone who ships 100 green beans by the end of the season will earn substantial reward. Like that, I'm tempted. Seriously tempted. You know what, let's do it. I can always buy the green bean seeds and get them going. I think that's what they wanted, but I'm not 100% certain. Oh, that only costs five grand. Even better. So let us go find Penny. Are you not fishing? Not at the moment. Like, uh, as far as bundles are concerned, I have the vault, which I'm not even bothering on right now, and the bolt board. That's it. 
I'm just waiting for a truffle, waiting for the apple tree to be ready, waiting for the pomegranate tree to be ready. Done and with I the need... C++ tutorial. Nice. And I just need to wait till summer so I can get that, the red cabbage. Penny, are you still at home? Yes. Here you go, my dear. Ah, uh, you accept. Ah. Uh. You were here at the pivotal moment where I asked her to be my bride. According to local tradition, too. I've been waiting to do that since... Have you used the character mods in SV before? Nope. Uh, this is straight up the Xbox version. I can't mod it. Oh, I don't have that one that I need. Okay. So, give me an idea of what to try practicing on. Um... Well, you want to make a game. Okay? So, first thing you're probably going to want to practice on is... Random, random number generation. Make a random number generator. Make sure it's working. Uh, second thing is you're going to want to be able to store data somehow. Whether that be in a database, a text file, or whatever, you're still going to be want to be able to do it. So, start figuring out how to write to files and read from files. I'm going to sleep. Well, you have a good rest there. Thank you for right stopping slash by. Red Files was one of the tutorials, Rusip. It was fun hopping in. Later, so. Thank you for popping in. And Thank Demon you for Sir. By. Yeah, but, uh, okay, so you wrote for, to and from files. At Evelyn that... Night, sleep well, sweet dreams, Demon 7 High. Okay, so you, you want to build an RPG. What kind of things are going to need to be. Start bait straight, straight, that base straight. Character stats damage values, and everything else, I guess. Ooh, secret out. Uh, crash, new last day of the season. Check the bush about the playground. One step at a time here. Looking for a mini project to practice before I go into RPG. Uh, grab a d, &D 3.5 book. Grab their treasure generator for a single table and automate it. So you click a button and it'll generate the treasure based off of the uh, the uh, party level or encounter level. Then expand on that. So rather than just one single thing you're doing, now it's going to take care of gems and gold. Then expand on that. So now it's taking care of gems, gold, artwork. Figure out, have a way to output that file, or the, those results, into like a text file.
then start adding in variables. Like, oh, is it half treasure because of this? Does it, will it not have this type of treasure because of this? Start adding in those values. Basically, your end goal will be turn around and build a D&D &D treasure generator. Hold up again one step at a time here, Rukek, like a really small project. Some kind of homework type project, Kect, lol. Dude, you're talking to the guy who my homework pro my kind of homework project was, yeah, here's a base design for a website, automate it. Database integration, everything. You've done the the hello world. So Fair Rusip wrong person than Rukek. Uh okay, something different then. Something that you might be be able to use. Make a database that uh, will tell you what you need to record for your channel. You can click a button and tell it, hey, I recorded. You set up a schedule for a calendar. You know what day you're, broad you're broadcasting a specific episode. All that's in a text file. And turn around and, okay, well, now I need to know what the next episode of whatever it is, what do I need to... Actually, Treasure Database might work. I'm gotta think about how to go about it. Very, very, very... Like, if you want a little bit of help or do you want to try to figure it out? So that's why I'm just gonna shut my trap at this exact moment until you tell me otherwise. Help me get start, Dan. See if I can get it from there. Okay. Very first thing. There is a treasure table for art. Okay. Uh, not certain for 5e. I'm going off 3.5. But there's a treasure table for art. Art has that table has the percentage that needs to be rolled for you to get art. It has the item name and then a description. So, make a random number generator that'll pull up. You, you click the button. It'll generate a random number. It'll pull up the item name and the description and display it on screen. That's step one. But with that, I'm going to call this episode a close. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you all next time.